I think it's, it's just such a phenomenal place in terms of athletics and academics, just like the, the paradigm of, of collegiate excellence. And it's just, it's at the same time, it it's doesn't really have this super prestigious, like pompous aspect to it. Like everyone's so down to earth and, and humble and, and just so accomplished. And, and I love that about, about my school. So I'm majoring in management science and engineering at Stanford, um, but I'm also pre-med. And so keeping those two options open is really interesting to me. I've always been interested in kind of the business side of things and, and, and finance, and that's always been very appealing. And so in terms of a career, I think in the future, I would love to do something that kind of meets at the confluence of all three of those, right? Medicine and, and business and finance. I think that'd be something that could make a really big impact. I think any athlete could argue that teamwork and, and um, just working so hard every morning and afternoon it certainly pushes you forward and teaches you unbelievable lessons in discipline. But what's unique about the sport of rowing, I think, is that there's this constant decision-making process of, of like all these inputs and all these outputs um, that you have to think of on a stroke-to-stroke -stroke basis. So if you're down to port side on a stroke and everyone else is leaning out to starboard or there's a crosswind off the port side and, and a coach's weight coming off of the starboard side, what are you going to do to maximize the boat's speed in that one stroke? And so I think that's actually a really neat way to look at the sport and a really neat way to, to think about rowing in general, that it really takes you forward um, in terms of decision making and, and, and just a career in the future in general.